All right, so vi uh, violins and viola and cello, notice that down bow that you've been given, specifically in bar 10. So obviously you play up bows and down bows all the time, but make sure that that down bow is not only together as an ensemble, but is strong, really, really good accent there. Here we go, the measure before that, what I'm talking about, measure nine, measure nine, here we go. And Almost. Good, good, good. Good. Could you play for the ensemble, please, bar 12? I like the way you play that. Dee da dee da dee da. That last measure we just played. Dee da dee da dee da. Dee da dee da dee da da. Everyone play that, please. We're going to measure 12. Dee da dee da dee da da. Uh, ready and go. Much better. Can we all do that? Slurs are very important. It's not just something, oh, we'd like to get it. And ready, two. Much better. Back to bar nine now. Put it together. I loved how you played bar ten. Do it again. And bar nine and two. Wow! Yeah, awesome. That comes up again. Bar 33. 33, do the same type of stuff. 33. You got it? You got it? You got bar 33? And... of the instruments play three of uh, violins and viola 34 and 36 we got that together on beat two let's see if we can do that even better than what we what we did at bar 10 was wonderful here we go bar 33 please 33 and your accents at 37 and 38 on beat three. Loved them. Can you give me the same energy at the downbeat of 40 and the downbeat of 42, please? Downbeat of 40, downbeat of 42. Let's go back to 37 now. Rehearsal figure number two, bar 37. And... <laughs> be a crescendo that gets us back up to fortissimo, okay? 44, that crescendo. Let's try that, please. 44, everybody. Alex, let's do violas and cello first. Viola, viola and cello. And one. <laughs> crescendo coming from the front of the cello section. Can I get everybody doing that crescendo? Same place, a little slower, 44. And one. Fortissimo. Good. At 48, after you do that crescendo, deem, deem. Just a little bit of separation. Da, da, instead of da, da. Da, da. Gives more weight to it. <clears throat> All right, everybody at 44 now. Let's see if we can do the crescendo as an ensemble. 44. First and second violins only. Bar 96. Rehearsal 5. Anybody know what cantabile is? Singing. Singing or singingly, yeah. 
So don't just play it da ba ba, but sing the line. <laughs> When the notes go up, rise in pitch, give a crescendo. When the notes come down, give a little decrescendo. Here we go. Rehearsal five, bar 96. First and second violins. One. Good. Let's start right at 96 again and just play your first note, please. 96 and. Next note, and tune seconds with the first. Better. 98, same pitch. And next note, D sharp. Tune it faster, seconds. There it is. Yeah, okay, now back to 96, please. Ready? One, two. Back to 103, the G sharp. Play the G sharp in octaves and 103, G sharp and A sharp. Same as B flat, right? Go ahead, here we go. Back to rehearsal five. Rehearsal five and a little faster tempo and one. Crescendo. Good, much better seconds, except that A sharp. Going into 104. If we get that A sharp a little higher. Much, much better. Good. All right. Um, now, look at measure 124. 124, this is a 9 8 measure. Second violins and violas. Do you see the words? Poco Pesante. Second violins and violas, do you see Poco Pesante? Anyone know what Pesante means? Heavy. Heavy means weighted, right? So instead of being smooth, or instead of being staccato, bump, 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 we're going to be heavy. GG. But it says Poco Pesante. What does Poco mean? Little. 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 So just a little bit heavy. Yay! The man with the answers. Pesante and a one. Back to 152, let's see if we get some more right pitches. I love what you're doing on the duple. One, two, bum, 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 bum. That duple is wonderful. Good, keep that up. Here we go, 152, please. And pesante, one. <laughs> Back up to 165, piano and crescendo, and one. You do a good job of da bum bum on the dotted quarter note. 
that's a good job of putting weight there. Can you also put weight on the quarter notes? Bum, 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 bum. Here we go, 170. Pazante coming at 170. 152. Now with the seconds, bar 192, with the Pumoso. Let it sing. And... Yeah. Uh, so after we play that beautiful long high note, the high C there, then the next measure we have da, da, da. And we can't be late on the time, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, one. Don't be late. Here we go. Pumoso again. Rehearsal nine. First and seconds. Sing. Ready? Yep. Good. Much better. Much better. Second violins, be careful. A couple of bars later, you had another da, da, da. One, two, three, four, six, one. Make sure we're not late on beat six there. Good. All right. Um, back to bar 44. Viola and cello. 44. A little under tempo, we need to get this down. Okay? 44. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, take it, take it, take it slow, take it slow. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, go. Good. 
when, when you started to give me the crescendo, we lost ensemble. Right in here, especially. Okay, rushing, slowing down. Same place, 44. And one, two, three, four. Da -da 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 Good. Viola's careful on your, your four, five, and six, eight notes. We're not slowing down at all in that passage. Um, second violins, bar 60. Second violins, bar 60. Under tempo. Here we go, ready? Sing it straight. Here we go, seconds. And one, two, three, four. Ah, slow. One, da, 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 da. One, two, three, go. Sixty-six. I say sing. When you have a long note like that, don't just go bum ba da ba ba and just sit on it. Ba bum ba da ba da 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 ba da. Even though there's not a crescendo marked, being musical means you're just going to give a little bit more there. Da ba da ba da ba da. And then so then you're going into sixty-eight, going into that D with a little crescendo. Here we go. Try it again. Bar sixty. measures where you have a dotted half note tied, excuse me, a dotted quarter tied to a quarter. So that's five beats, right, if we're counting in six. That's one, two, three, four, five, all on the same note. I'm hearing people go early to beat six. Da, 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 da. Should be da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Wait to six there, okay? Got to be nimble there. Here we go. We'll try it again. Second violins. This will be the last time. Bar 60. And one, two, three, four. C. Better. Not so good there. Good. Good, good, good. Much, much better. Professional orchestra players, and the faster you learn this, even in high school, this will help you, but professional orchestra players, they always subdivide, no matter what they're doing. If they're playing a, a double whole note, they always feel like that. So what it, does everyone know what that means by subdivide? So if we're counting six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they're going, digga, 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 They're thinking 30 seconds, or they're thinking, uh, yeah, 30, uh, 16th notes. Uh, to their eighth notes. Or if they have a long note like da, then they're taking eighth notes. They're always subdividing. Um, good. All right, here we go from the top. Let's make this count, and then I'll let you go. Mr. Wilson, I'll let you go. Here we go, from the top.
Thank you.